um, your individual small files back. But you know, for for doing the whole thing, because again, this is you know half the time we have a loss. It's um, customer having an old server that just uh, goes kaput. And we're going to figure on tape here, and you can figure the same, uh, pretty close to the same thing for disk. Uh, disks are just a touch faster. Um, so with tape, the uh, average estimated recovery time is 16 hours to 40 hours. Now it's not necessarily all business hours. You know, your your IT company may be working at night to get you back up as well. But even if that's uh, 16 straight hours, that's still at least one complete day of downtime. And 40 hours can still be about two and a half complete days. And well, why is that? Because first we have to repair the down server. Because to do a recovery from uh, a backup tape, you actually have to have a server that you can restore onto first. So that server has to have Windows, that server has to have your backup exec program. Once that's all done, um, and you know we might have to you know get some new hardware even or even get a new server so with all that time behind us um, you know again we have to install the backup programs and things like that uh, we have to find our right uh, right tapes or right disks and we'll talk about um, why you actually have to go through a process of finding those in a little bit because any of your backups may not always be good um, then we uh, actually do that restore um, again, talking about incrementals or differentials, you have to find more tapes if you're doing if you're doing any of those. So, always urge everybody to do full backups um, if uh, if data size is not an option because it is a lot easier to restore from. So, what I've done here is we've got a, a neat little graph that shows uh, you know estimated restore time. Um, and then uh, versus the cost of, of actually having this strategy. So you can see uh, how long some of these solutions take, how long some of them uh, you know, don't take or how quick they are, and then uh, factor in cost as well. You'll notice that uh, that tape is right about in the middle. So some principles uh, that we talk about um, recovery point and recovery time. Um, the recovery point is, you know, how often you're being backed up and when you would be restoring from. And what that means is everybody that does a tape backup, you know, your recovery point would probably be uh, in the evening, 10 p.m., maybe 1 a.m. in the morning, things like that. Um, the recovery time is actually more referred to like the process uh, of what it takes to, to get things back. And then the backup window. Um, Obviously, if you're getting your backup starting at 10 at night and they go till 4 in the morning, um, you have to have a, a good six hours of uh, backup window where, one, people won't be in working unless you have the right agents, or two, uh, your system has to be uh, up and running. So one of the things we're going to talk about uh, that, again, some of the people have may heard about are the new hybrid backup solutions rather than using disk and tape in that backup exec software. Um, and we'll call them uh, the BDRs, where it's, it, they do backups and disaster recovery. So it's an all-in-one solution. Um, so you can see uh, uh, some of the benefits already in just this quick chart is, you know, th these things back up a lot more often. Uh, because they're not file backups like we talked about at the start. They're actually um, the sector backups. And recovery is pretty quick and simple. You can usually be up in, uh, in a lot less time. And I'll show you how in a moment. So obviously your, com your uh, comprehensive solution um, has to not only protect your data but minimize downtime. And again, the disk and tape and the flat file backup with backup exec, it's hard to minimize downtime with that. So the new solution that's out there is the BDR. And um, we have a solution, of course, one of those, and that's the smart BDR. And it works in a couple of different ways um, where it does on-site and off-site. You know, so it protects you, you know, not just protecting your data. Um, that we need to restore from real quick, but also from the big disasters too, where all your data not just is on site, but it's actually off site at two different data centers. So in case your building goes, you know, your, your data can be back pretty quickly. And a lot of companies are offering these new solutions nowadays. So aside from just restoring again your emails and your Excel files and things like that, um, to totally recover from a new server, um, one of the advantages is the ability with uh, this hybrid backup solution is to restore to any old computer. Um, your tech guys can, I'm sure I'll tell you that it's more difficult to do a full restore to a new server. Um, so if you have an old server that 
that does die and you have to restore everything to a new server, there's a couple extra steps in there and the process takes a little longer. Now, it, it's obviously done all the time, but um, these hybrid solutions, um, they're able to actually a lot more easily restore or do what's called a bare metal restore to different hardware. Um, one of the uh, big things, again, I already mentioned was that if you do have a big data loss, within 24 hours since your data is off-site, you can have your, uh, your data back. So if the building burns down and all the tapes go with it, you don't have to worry. And everything's encrypted, of course. Um, tape backups and, and disk backups can be encrypted nowadays, too, as long as you have the most current version of backup, backup exec, which is version 12, or even beyond, of course, 12.5 and 13 that's coming out soon. So this solution, the hybrids can do encryption. Uh, again, so can your uh, old ones, too. And that's important because if you have any uh, um, any information that falls under HIPAA or SOX, um, one of the uh, one of the requirements is that your data is encrypted if it ever leaves your office. So we showed earlier um, how backup exec works, where it was a file backup and an on-site. Um, the the smart BDR in the in these types of units, because again there are lots of them out there, they do the sector backups. So they don't care what's on on your uh, computer they're going to back up every little bit off the hard drive. So a lot less apt to failure. Um, they are a disk backup, so they're pretty quick. Um, but it also means no swapping tapes. Um, they're an on-site and an off-site. Um, but they've also got virtual server capabilities. And what that means is that it's got the ability to become your server that fails. Um, since it does a sector backup, uh, it can actually um, just take a whole picture of the hard drive. Since it has that picture of the hard drive, it can just use that to become the server if it happens to fail. So you can see why that cuts your uh, your downtime to almost nothing. Because within the matter of about 30 minutes to an hour, your failed server can actually be running as a virtual thing on this BDR. And your, uh, your users won't even know the difference. So I'll give a quick little overview of how these, these BDR technologies uh, work. They actually require almost no interaction by the user, which is a, another great thing. So you don't have to take all your time, again, changing backups, but then also worrying about uh, checking backups very often. So we get a, you know, an, a, a nice, neat little status screen, um, color-coded so it's easy to figure out what's, what's failed or what's not. And again, green across the board means good. You know, it, it's that simple just to look at the, the status page. And actually looking at one of the units live, uh, you can see here it looks a lot like Backup Exec, and they work a lot like Backup Exec. But let me show you a couple of the, the, couple of the big differences here. Oh, well, it looks like our backup's running. It wasn't, uh, wasn't quick enough. But what this backup is, you see here it's next scheduled time to run. You know, we've actually got it running every 15 minutes. So rather than backing up once a night, you, you can restore from any 15-minute uh, period that you have. I don't think we'll be able to edit this job since it's in use. But you can see here you can do backups um, manually, just like you could on any machine. Um, you can do a restore, which is just with a little wizard. Again, just like backup exec. But with this, since you're backing up from every 15 minutes, um, and they're disk backups, and they're real, real big, um, Rather than the six weeks that you usually get with disks and tapes, you can get about uh, you know one to two years out of this. So think about that, being able to go from a backup 17 months ago at 3.45 because you deleted a file at 4 o'clock that day. You, know, you can do it with these things. So like I said, you know, I want to avoid just being um, all about a, a tech demos here for, for a new solution. I just want everybody to, uh, you know, to have a good understanding of the different types of backups there are and what's out there and how to, uh, you know, and how to figure out what you really need. So, you know, obviously a viable solution has got to figure all the platforms that everybody's got. Um, just about everybody's running Microsoft stuff, but do you have an email server, a database server? You know, you have to figure out what are those agents you might need or if you're going to go with a solution that you don't have to buy all the little extra pieces. Some of the solutions are, are turnkey, like the like the hybrids. They're right out of the box. They can do everything for you. Where the backup exec stuff, you might need to buy eight or nine extra pieces to back.